guys, so today we are talking about personal style versus knowing your body type and what's more important. I often see this question sort of around the community and I see the sentiment a lot that's like, well, it's more important to have a personal style than to know your body type or the most important thing to look good is to have a personal style and you know, you don't have to know your body type to have a personal style. And certainly you don't have to know your body type to have a personal style and it's incredibly important to have a personal style. But I want to talk about why this conversation is, uh, I guess, a little bit odd to me in a way, because the thing with personal style is that it's aided by knowing your body type, right? So if you think about body type in the way that I do it with body geometry, uh, it's really just about understanding the lines of your body and understanding the effects that different silhouettes and different types of detailing, different lines have on your look. So it's supposed to actually aid you in expressing your personal style. It's not really supposed to be one or the other. And a lot of the people that you see with a personal style who really don't, don't have um, any idea about body types or anything like that, and they still manage to look excellent, of course they do, you know, because they have been practicing for years, you know, this is something that they've really honed in on through trial and error, you know, and that's how you build a personal style, just like, just like with art, you know, when you are looking at a painter who has a very distinct style or any kind of other artist, they have a distinct style because they have honed their skill, and through that and through the years they've developed a style, right? And it would be odd if, you know, you're discussing having a personal style when you don't even like know how to draw. You see what I mean? It's, it's kind of like the personal style comes out through your expertise, through being able to do the trial and error and through really the technical skill of being able to, to dress yourself and to express yourself through style. I think style and clothing are just another medium uh, for, for art, I guess, in a way. And so, so this conversation can be a little strange to me because I don't think it's either or. I think that finding your body type can be a very fast track to really gaining a lot of technical skill very quickly. And so you have to do a lot less trial and error. If you know the lines of your body, you're not going to be, you know, doing things that don't make a lot of sense. It's sort of like if you watch videos on YouTube of how to paint something like how, you know techniques in watercolor you know how to paint trees or whatever it is you know you are going to save a lot of time than going in and trying to do it yourself you know over and over again until you figure out how to do it not that you couldn't you totally could uh, but finding those videos or finding those resources or taking a course or an art class or you know anything like that in painting is going to aid you in, even if it is only about techniques, is going to aid you in expressing what you want to express through your art. And likewise, finding your body type is going to aid you in expressing what you want to express through your style a lot quicker, you see. And so, so I think it's not, it's not either or. You know, it's, it's not either or and it never has been. It has always been very, um, very much a, a combination of the two, like one thing supports the other. And, uh, and that's what ends up happening with people who, who learn their body type is that they really find that they have skipped a lot of steps to being able to just express themselves a lot easier, a lot better, you know, and having more luck in the dressing room, you know, just not having to sift through so many items, just sort of sort of knowing what will look good on you and then from those options what is going to flatter me what's going to look a certain way on me you know you can you can choose choose certain styles and certain looks right and um yeah i guess the other thing that comes to mind is just online shopping you know you, it's it's very inconvenient to send things back so you know knowing at least if you like at least if you have long lines or moderate lines or short lines and not you don't even have to know your entire body but just knowing just the length of your lines or like just the types of silhouettes that look good on you and again you can you can do this through trial and error or you could do this through knowing your body type certainly you know i don't think that body type is the only way to dress yourself or the only way to know what looks good on you but it is important to know what looks good on you if you're looking to express yourself in a certain way or to know what flatters you, to know what doesn't flatter you. And 
now that I say that, I'm thinking about what does it mean when something flatters you? I mean, that's pretty subjective in a way, right? And, um, you know, it's, it's subjective. And then also there is a little bit of an objectivity to it, just like there is to color theory, for example. You know, certain things look good together. Certain colors look good together because we like how they look together. So in the same way, certain things just seem to look good on certain body types, certain facial features, certain proportions. And I think that's a human thing, that's an aesthetic thing, and that goes beyond, somehow beyond personal taste. For some reason, it can be cross-cultural, you know, just like color theory is cross-cultural, right? Um, you know, just the fact that green and red are complementary colors, that's cross-cultural. It has nothing to do with a subjective notion of what looks good, you know, so there is that aspect. And then there's also the subjective aspect of, my question is, are you getting the look that you are trying to get? You know, at the end of the day, that's what really matters, right? It's when you put something on, is it going to look on you how you want for it to look on you, how you expect to look for it to look on you? And also, are you going to look how you want to look? And uh, the thing that can really aid that is knowing what's going on. You know, there are so many silhouettes out there, so many different types of detailing and it can be difficult to sort of hone in on your types of silhouettes. And of course, once you do, it actually turns out that, you know, there aren't, you know, each person has their own silhouettes that, that are very aesthetically pleasing on them. And uh, they have, there are a lot more silhouettes that are not aesthetically pleasing on them because there are so many different, different body types and types of people, you know, and so, and so for anyone, um, the silhouettes that are the most flattering are going to be sort of in the minority for each person, right? And so that's why it can be frustrating because if you were to randomly select all of these clothing items, it's like probably one out of eight, one out of 10 would flatter you, you know? And that just so happens to be like 10 or 13 or whatever it is, body types, right? So so that's the thing is that it it does end up being a way, like a tool for you to, to better express yourself. Um, but yeah, I think that the thing with, with body geometry is that I, I tried to, you know, this, you guys, if you're old here, you already know all of this, right? And I tried to separate, cleanly, cleanly separate the style from the body type. I think they're two separate things. You know, the body type is more like the technical skill it's more like color theory. Every artist knows color theory, but they all have their own unique style, right? So, well, I shouldn't say every artist. Most artists know color theory, but they all have their own unique style. If they don't know color theory, they can still have their own unique style just as well. They can still be just as good, you know? Um, but it, it likewise, with body types, knowing your body type is the technical skill. It's like the foundation, kind of knowing those technical ideas, and then your style kind of can come out of that, right? And so, so yeah, so I ended up really trying to separate because, you know, in our community, I think we've really come to associate certain styles with certain body types, and really they weren't even meant to be body types, so to speak, they're meant to be image IDs. Um, but the thing is, is that we've started to call them body types, you know, the kiddie body types or, or whatever it is, and there's a certain style that has come to be associated with them very much so. And what I try to do is really, really cleanly separate, look, these are the lines of the body, but you can make them into any style that you are looking to make them into. You know, and, and I really think that it's sort of like, if you have, uh, if you're an artist and you have uh, paints, you know, you have watercolor paints, those are your lines. Some people have watercolor paints, some people have you know, they're just born with watercolor paints. Some people are born with, um, you know, pen and pencil. Some people are born with um, chalk pastel, whatever it is, you know. And so they're just different mediums. And so I see the lines as the different mediums and then the personal style as the actual, like, you know, I guess art piece that you are going to create, the style that you're going to have as, as a as an artist of your own look in a way and so that, that's how I like to think of it I don't like to think of it as either or uh, I don't think it's either or at all um, yeah so I think that's all I have to say on this topic let me know what you guys think um, you know I 
I've had a lot of clients in the beginning when I was still doing, um, you know, kibby body typing. I would have a lot of clients just tell me like, well, I don't feel like, you know, I have, I, I'm a romantic and all of these like stereotypes that are associated with the romantic or I don't feel like I'm a gamine because X, Y, Z. And so that's why I, I separated it. And, you know, now doing typing and body geometry, it has been, you know, a lot more straightforward for, I feel like for my clients and for me. And uh, I really like this approach, you know, I mean, of course I would like it. That's how I chose to do it, you know, for, for that reason is because I want for the lines and the technical skill to support the style that you want to create. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let me know what, what you guys think. Let me know in the comments and um, let me know if you have any topics that you'd be interested for me to, to cover in, in future videos. I'd be curious to know about those, to take any video suggestions and um, yeah, I will talk to you next time.